What up guys, the Delta016 here, um, with a slight change to the video orders. Um, you may remember at the end of the MP40, I did say I was going to make the PPSH. Uh, slightly different, I decided to make something simpler, because uh, I haven't got a lot of time, I've got about an hour to do this, and there's quite a lot of things that come with the PPSH, so, yeah. Um, I was originally going to show you the scene from Star Wars Episode 4 that showed both weapons that I'm going to make in this special episode of the Kinex Armory, but uh, when I uploaded it, it said it contained material from Fox, so I've had to re-record this. For those of you wondering where the Delta 016 came from, uh, you're looking at it basically. It was the profile I used for Star Wars Battlefront and Battlefront 2 on PlayStation 2. So, uh, I'm just going to quickly fly through this. Um, obviously the Rebels in this don't use the other weapon, they use the A280, I think it is. Um, which one? Uh, we'll go with Bespin. Bespin platforms, because this is good fun. Every time I come on here, the my team and the other team, whether it's the clones against the droids or the Empire against the rebels, we always fight over a middle bit. There's always a big battle as well as the dog fighting that goes on ahead above. There's a big battle that goes on um, for the middle bit and to get there quicker. Might kill me, and it didn't. I don't like the fact there's no sprint for this, but then again, this was the first battlefield, battlefront. Of course you hear something, I'm right above you. I hear something. Santa Poodle. I survived! So here we are, the E-11, and yes, I got killed, don't laugh about it. <laughs> so we got the middle bit. It usually takes longer to capture that, because the rebels obviously fight for it. But the fact- oh god. I love how stupid the AI are. They're just like, oh, grenade, what do we do, what do we do? And then it's just like, boom, you're dead. Fifty bullets in your head. Um, there aren't actually any caliber specifics for this. Specifics? Is that even the right term? Um, did I just kill my own? Have a grenade, I go fly! Oh, shite! <laughs> uh, well, I don't remember that being used in Star Wars. And looks like I ain't the only one. And I'm finally dead. <laughs> um, okay, I'll just do a couple more seconds of me fighting. If I can, oh, feck off then. Someone else is capturing behind the front line. Yeah, I know, I know. I ain't fucking stupid. One, two, three, four grenades. They're going to blow up. They're going to blow up. What were you thinking? <laughs> oh yeah, we got it back. Okay, so that's the E11 in combat, and now we go over to my... And here's one of them. This is the Imperial E11 blaster rifle, which some of you might know, if you know about Star Wars. The E11 and the DH-17, as a matter of fact, are both based off of the Sterling submachine gun uh, from Great Britain. Um, as soon as I find clips or gameplay with the Sterling in, I will make it. Because it's not exactly difficult, it'll be a modified E11. Uh, it's got the side magazine, the scope, as well as the frontal bit, which actually serves as part of the folding stock. Um, compared to the MP40, which is actually the smallest weapon so far, this is actually the smallest now. Um, obviously, if you take into account the stock that will be added on, uh, that makes it slightly bigger. Uh, it's simple. It's simple to make. Originally, I didn't have that front bit. Uh, this was just an add-on. Oh, God. 
your thingies and slid forward. Sorry about my odd camera angles. Like my shirt, as one of my mates says, it's the Czech Republic. And that's not as in the actual country, it's in the checkers that I got the check on it. So yeah, the side mounted magazine. Uh, it's bigger than the original version. The original version, uh, it was white sticks in there with the red connectors and the green stick there holding it in. The scope is new. That bit wasn't on there before. Uh, it, sh it was just added on, as you know. So, there we are. E11, not exactly big. You know, if you hold it up to your shoulder and you're looking through your eyes, that's how close it is. It's really close, so you hold it at that length. And of course, because most weapons you hold it at the front, there you are. Although, you do see some of the characters in Star Wars hold it like it's a pistol. I don't know if you could, if they could actually do that with the Sterling, but here's a fact. Um, for the bridge scene in Episode 4, A New Hope, when the stormtroopers are firing at Luke and Leia, and they're trying to get across, if you look closely on the shadows, you can see empty shells flying out the side. That's because they used blank firing e uh, not E11s, Sterlings, that were just modified. So, the magazine was cut down, a scope, uh, railings, you know, all that kind of stuff. So, the first add-on for this, I will show you right now. This attachment turns it into the E11 blaster carbine, I believe. Um, obviously, I've taken the front, this folding stock bit off. Can't be bothered to take those things off. Um, but with the stock added on, just like the real Sterling, um, up against your shoulder, it's like that. So it's as if you're holding it out like that without the stock. Um, and the blaster carbine is actually used in Star Wars. Um, I don't think in the films. But it is used in Star Wars Battlefront Elite Squadron. Um, I got it on DS, so I don't know if it's the same for PSP. Um, but it fires almost like a rocket shell, in a way. Um, but Blaster Carbine is not seen in anything else from Star Wars that I know of. Um, it's always been the regular E11. So, that's the E11. And now, onto its counterpart from that battle on the Tantor 4 from episode 4 it is the Rebellion's DH-17 blaster rifle um, you will remember that cone from the MP-40 that black connector uh, it makes it look not like the real thing from Star Wars but it's there to stop the cone from sliding forward because it's got a very small barrel a very small point on the end that's showing um, if I can find this one handed Sorry, that's the yep the visual guide for Star Wars. Um, if I can find this fast, just kind of flicking through. Whoa, did I did I go past it? Well, there's a picture of Lando Calrissian holding it. Good old Billy D. Williams. Um, nope, nope. Ah, feckin' hell. Um, yeah, you might recognise that what I just said from Mrs. Brown's Boys. For those that are in Britain. Oh, come on! What the hell is it? Sorry, this is not just... Reading a book with the Delta 016. Hope you enjoy this. Boring... There we go! There it is. And yes, it is the DH-17. But you can see it has a very small bit on the end. I don't know if you can see that. Um, so yeah. It's got a very small bit on the end. Just like this one. And the best part is of this model there is the component for the E11 you just click that bit off you click that off and put this on and then you can take that fronty bit off to stick on the, sc on the stock and so yeah there you are a modified E11 to be made into the DH-17 and the E11 blaster carbine the Delta 016 signing off thanks for